Hi everybody. Today we are going to start a new series. Uh, it's about uh, technical pre-sales. Uh, it's a part of the sales side for any of the project, IT project mostly. Uh, and over here we are going to explain the different uh, topic of technical pre-sales, keeping in mind the chatbot as one of the factor. Okay. Um, so what is the RFP, right? So before moving into that question, let's uh, try to cover a few of the questions that may have occurred to you uh, while working on any of the project. So usually like how the IT companies get a project, how or the who decide the timeline for the particular project. Uh, you might have experienced that uh, for few projects, the timeline is very crunch and, and for few it's very lenient, right? How many resources to work on a particular project, right? So there again, you might have seen that few projects have many resources are working on a project and uh, it's quite lenient or over uh, allocated. And for few projects, only few are working and it's all going till nights, right? So if uh, so, to understand this, right? So let's understand what is uh, RFP. Okay, so let me create. Uh, okay, so what is RFP? RFP is a request for proposal. Okay, so what happened is usually there is a client. Okay, so let's name it as a C L I E N T. Oops. Okay, uh, let's make it small. Okay, and then we have companies. Let's take example of like Infosys, TCS, uh, IBM, Accenture, or let's say Amazon, okay? So there is a requirement uh, for let's say uh, chatbot, okay? Since we are discussing about the chatbot, so there is a requirement of the chatbot implementation, okay? So let's first give names to these companies. Let's say TCS, Oops, TCS, Enfe, what was that? IBM, let's say Google. Google does not go, but yeah, okay. Uh, cognizant, okay. Um, so let's say the client uh, have budget now and they want to implement a chatbot or a text-based solution of uh, NLP to their uh, particular, um, let's say, website, right? Uh, to answer just uh, FAQs. Uh, so let's say a vague example over here. So what they do usually uh, is they circulate a, a particular uh, requirement to various company, let's say to TCS, to Infosys, to IBM, oops, to Google and to Cognizant. Okay, so usually what they mentioned uh, is, let's say they have a requirement, uh, they want to use a bot framework like Microsoft, okay? Uh, specify the timeline they want to complete, budget maybe. Uh, features they are looking for, let's say upload and text-based and connect to agent and all those things, uh, which may or may not be part of the out of the box solution from the chatbot framework uh, support like after the delivery of the project uh, who want to do the support or they want to continue who has implement to support this one uh, so similar kind of a requirement they mentioned in the proposal uh, sorry uh, the not the proposal the requirement okay so this is called the requirement and in nutshell this is what we called as rfp okay so where the client is asking for various com from various company it can be a service base or product base uh, either they can be asking for a particular service implementation like the chatbot to implement it or directly buying a particular product like crm or database just a simple example so that's how the client uh, share particular requirement and then uh, once it go to this various company, what they do is they respond it, right? So let's say uh, TCS says I can do is in three months and in $7 million, okay? 
Infi says, oh, we, uh, we can do it in four months, but our costing is $5 million. Okay. Uh, now the IBM says, uh, we, we can also do in three months. Not a big deal. And our is let's say $10 million. Google say, we already have a product. Why go with the Microsoft? So we can't do it. So it will say not applicable, right? We have go our own chatbot framework. We will do it. That's also a proper response, right? And there is a cognizant company, uh, which again will say that, okay, we can do in again, 3 million, something like that. Uh, sorry, three months. And we can do in, let's say, 6 million. Now, along with that, since this is all about sales, right? This is not a technical piece as yet. So what uh, companies do is they along with that mention that, okay, along with these features or all the things that a client has asked for, uh, they prepare a presentation where they have to sell their company proposal to the client, right? Uh, so what they do is they specify that, okay, we have implemented this in seven clients, right? Uh, or if there is a NDA sign, right? Non-disclosure agreement. Then they mention something like a big uh, uh, retail industry or healthcare industry, and they mentioned as a use case, right? How many peoples are they have, right? So let's say we have 200 certified with chatbot certification for Microsoft, or let's say for CRM, we have around 500 people, right? So how many people they have? Uh, they also have uh, uh, provide the details like the support, like uh, what are the support features and all this thing, 24 plus seven, or it is a, what is that? Uh, 24 cross 5 also is there. So many other features are there. 18 into 5 is there. Like how many hours in a week uh, they will be available and they are costing. So in a nutshell, this is uh, what we called as a tech, uh, sorry, uh, RFP, where the client share the requirement with the uh, industries, various industry. It can be a product, or it can be a service based on the requirement from the client side. It can be a product direct buy, wanted to buy a product, or it can be a service uh, like uh, for implementation of particular solution, right? Uh, when I say product, it can be uh, as simple as a particular company want to buy laptop for their employees. So they go to the different companies like Dell, HP, Lodovar, and all this thing. And they get the quotation back, right? Uh, like how many, what are the features of the laptop and how many, how much it will cost if you buy 100, 200 laptop at a time. So that is what the RFP is. So if that concept is clear, uh, from technical precision side, what we will understand or I will try to explain is, uh, uh, what are the architecture, uh, what are the, usually what the technical pieces guy do, right? Uh, being an architect of a particular, uh, uh, what is a technology, right? So I will explain how we can create an architecture, what are the assumptions we have to take, what are the dependency we have to mention, in and out scope, uh, we specify, basically goes under assumption and dependency, uh, how to calculate the estimates, uh, and how to, uh, define the resource loading, how much resource is required, and when they will be get added to that. And there are various estimates process are there, like there is a bottom up estimations where uh, we divide the whole project into small component and from there on add uh, timeline and the costing for each and every one and do the whole sum calculation. Then there is a three point estimation, uh, which basically uh, like for this requirement, right? Uh, this one, they just mentioned chatbot. They didn't mean how many use cases, how many uh, call flows to define, how many intents will be there, how many languages are there, right? So what we will do, we will make uh, assumptions of, let's say, uh, simple use cases, medium use cases, complex use cases. And then we will do average out of all this. And based on that, we will provide the estimation. Then there is also a judge expert judgment. So let's say a particular company already have delivered a few projects. So they have some subject matter expert who can confirm that, okay, what are the previous learning they have gone through while deploying or developing a particular solution. 
how much time it has taken and all those things so they can use the previous uh, uh, information or the what do you say experience from the past projects and the details uh, minor details like uh, the estimates and the resources and all those things so there are various ways uh, through which uh, particular estimations and all the other things can be calculated uh, for chatbot side how i will how i do it i will try to explain and uh, see if it uh, uh, add up to, to create a proper technical pieces uh, what is a description hopefully if you like this video then please wait for the next one uh, it will be coming soon um, if you like just uh, the video just like and subscribe thank you